certainly one of the most successful uh, managers in the sport of professional wrestling is with me right now. Not only is he a manager, but he's a coach and a trainer as well. I'm referring, of course, to Ron Wright. And uh, Mr. Wright, uh, you do have two very impressive athletes. Oh, Dad, I've got two of the toughest athletes in the wrestling in the world today. And you know, it's a shame. I used to be one of the toughest wrestlers, too. But I've had, in the past few years, a very, very bad heart. And all I can do is sit at ringside and coach these men. But the, with a bad heart like I've got, I can never get involved in any matches. I can't interfere. That's the reason you always see me there, being a perfect, well-dressed gentleman in the ringside. Well, now, I do have people that have come up to me and complained about the fact that you do, in fact, interfere. No, no, no. Look, these people around here, these are Tennessee people. They're some of the biggest liars in the world. That's the reason I had to move completely out of the state of Tennessee, because I didn't like living here where all of the liars was at. They'll sit up here and tell you anything, but all you've got to do is keep your eye on me sitting there in the corner, and you know I never interfere ever in a match. Why in the world would I have to interfere with these men's matches when I've got the two toughest men in the world right here in the corner? Don't have to interfere. Don't have to give them any help. Just a little professional coaching from the sideline. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got, uh, this is a match that took place about three weeks ago. And I would like to have you explain, if you will, uh, the Mongolian Stomper's actions. All the all the Stomper's done is just like I've told him to do. Put that man flat of his back on that man and stomp his head off. Just keep the cameras on it. All he's doing is beating the man's head. If you get the camera around there, you'd see me sitting in the corner being a perfect gentleman. Uh huh. Wait a minute. I'm trying to help the poor man back up in the ring. That's all I've done. Didn't do a thing to him. We certainly have a, a difference in ocular observation in the situation. Well, sir. what you need to do is go to the eye doctor and have your glasses examined because I've got a funny feeling you need a new set, Gordon. I see. Well, uh, I'm sure all of you who are watching, uh, this match took place three weeks ago in Knoxville at the Grand Ballroom. And again, you see the Mongolian stomper doing what he does best. Just what I told him to do. Put him flat of his back and lay that number 14 boot to his head. He's done got him bleeding around the hairline now real bad now. He's got the man at his mercy. All right, well, he's got the three count on him. The man got his hands up, and that was all of it. These people around here just need to stay tuned. Keep their eyes on me and these two men because I want to tell you something, Mr. Soley. We're going to make wrestling history right here in this part of the country. You can take your money and put it in a bank and bet on what I'm telling you. All right, the comments from Ron Wright, who is the manager, trainer, confident, if you will, of the dog and yes. of, course of the Mongolian stomper. Well, gentlemen, I I, uh, I appreciate you coming out. It's been our pleasure, and the next time we're out here, I don't want you trying to lie anything and put any lies in these people's minds about me interfering because I have a hard time with the bad heart of God just coming to and from the ring with my men. We well, appreciate you. All right. Here again we see you in the ring, and it certainly appears to me that you're very much involved. trying to pick the poor man up off the floor to help him back to the dressing room that was all i was trying to do mr Sully. anybody with good eyesight can see that all i tried to do was help the man up on his feet to get him back there in the dressing room before the stomper here practically killed the man then what did we have we got a bunch of idiots that come running out of the dressing room get out here and interfere in my match interfering with my match that's all he was doing we had to get rid of them and get them them out of the ring to put them back there where they belong because they did not have any business of coming out there and getting their nose in my wrestling ring. Well, you have made your point abundantly clear, and I think the bullet is making his point. See, that's what he was doing. The bullet didn't have no business coming out there, interfering with my match under any circumstances. Quite enough. And uh, here's a special message for you right now.